have an idea. All right. <laughs> All right, no laugh. Good morning, everybody. Gary Abbott with Froggy Waters Outdoors. I'm out here on the river with Kelsey Roberts. Um, we've been putting some acoustic trackers. Um, pretty much, they'll pick up the signal that the fish have. And what we want y'all to do is we want y'all to leave them alone. Um, it's really big. Everybody sees things on the bank and they're curious about what they have. And uh, I'll show you a close up of how it's mounted on the bank. So when you're curious and you see it, you kind of have an idea of what it is. And when somebody asks, say, hey, what was that? You can, you can tell them and be knowledgeable about what you're talking about. So um, Kelsey, can you tell us about what we're doing out here and why we're doing it? Sure, so um, I'm a fisheries biologist um, for this area for the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. And we are starting a white bass project where we're basically gonna tag around 50 white bass this year and hopefully around 30 to 50 white bass next year um, with acoustic transmitters. And those transmitters will be about this big and um, you won't actually be able to see them um, but the fish that we do tag will have an external um, green tag on their dorsal fin so if you catch a fish that has that green tag um, we're just going to ask that you throw that fish back so we can continue to track those fish are those tags going to have numbers on them they will have numbers and they'll have my phone number on it so you can call me if you want to learn more about the project or just know a little bit more about the white bass that you caught, you can call that number and it will have like a tag number on it as well. So if you happen to catch one of the one of these white bass that has a green tag on it, it's imperative to throw it back. What would really be helpful for us is if you could tell us the time of day and the location where you caught it. Pretty much on what part of the tributary. Right now we're on the Eno River in uh, North Carolina coming out of Falls Lake. That's where this is going to happen. Um, Eno River and the Flat River, pretty much they get tagged in the lake and we're going to try to figure out why fish choose which sections of the river. Kind of get a better idea of the breeding Yeah, so, so one, of the one of the things we're trying to learn by tagging fish is um, what habitat they're selecting for um, in, in both of the rivers and, and whether that differs between the two rivers. Um, what type of environmental um, you know, patterns or cues are driving their migrations and what type of migrations they're using once they're actually in the river. So do they make multiple you know, spawning runs in one season? Do they, are they just you know, go up the river one time and they're done? Um, you know, where do they stage and for how long and, and what you know, finally cues them to, to actually spawn? Um, are just some of the things that we're going to look at for white bass and the way that we detect those tags um, getting back to what we were talking about earlier is um, by having uh, acoustic receivers spread throughout both of the rivers so we'll show you a picture of them later um, maybe a video but they're about this big they're black and they're going to be um, attached to an anchor which is attached to a cable on a tree um, and they should have a sticker on it that will say, you know, property of, of the Wildlife Resources Commission and, and it'll say, you know, for research. Um, so they should be pretty easy to identify when you see one. Um, and if you do happen to pick one up, uh, if you could just throw it back where you found it, um, that would help us out. Awesome. So y'all have an idea of what's going on. Um, we're going to get off the water in just a few minutes and when we do, We'll continue this video and we'll have uh, some more information to show you what the tracker itself, the microphone on, I guess we would call it, the uh, receiver, the receiver end of it looks like. Um, and we'll uh, include an email link to Miss Kelsey so if you have any direct questions um, you can reach her via email that yeah. way. And if you see us out on the water anytime for electro fishing or doing any other types of surveys, feel free to flag us down and, and ask us questions.